Hello, good day. Uh, this is David Soto again, and I just want to go over how to place trades using the spot option platform. And um, we're going to play some binary option trades today. Uh, I've already showed you all the different things up here on top, all the 60 second long term pairs. Um, we're not going to focus on any of those right now. Uh, what we're going to do is focus on the binary option tab right here. And that's where I highly recommend that you get started using the demo account. And then you want to stick with um, one of the major currency pairs. Uh, obviously, there are other commodities such as uh, oil, you know, gas, and precious metals, and stocks, indices, all this kind of stuff. But for example, let's just stick with one of the currency pairs since they're the most popular. And Euro USD and uh, USD JPY are probably the most popular. But you can use any of these, but for example, we're going to use Euro USD. And um, up here um, on the graph, you have 30 minute time frame, a one hour, two hour, four hour, eight hour, and a 12 hour time frame, right? And you can select each one of those. Actually, let me select them for you, show you what they look like in difference. You can see this whole entire block here is 30 minutes. So you got 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And you can see whether the price of the euro against the dollar is going up or down over the course of 30 minutes. And the same thing for one hour. That's a one hour block. And then over a two hour block, you can look at the two hour block and say, wow, that price of the euro has actually been going down for the last two hours. And you look at the last four hours and get even better estimate of what, what the, what's going on with the market. And we can see here that it's at a higher percentage at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's now 10 o'clock in the morning. So it has steadily been dropping all morning. All right. And then if we go to the eight hour chart, I don't know how long the market's been open, but for the last eight hours, it has been steadily market. I believe the market has only been open for a few hours now. So um, this is probably like yesterday. And then today, I'd have to actually look at the times when it opened and closed. But this right here is a 12 hour chart. And basically, you can see from yesterday to the last two days what's been going on um, 12 hours ago. Well, yesterday, whenever the market. So, yesterday, uh, it's like the market was going down and then it started to spike back up. And now it's going down again quite a bit. So, following the trend, it looks like it's going down. I would imagine the next day it's going to go down. And for this example, we're going to stick with a one hour chart. Um, you go ahead and put yours on one hour. And then um, up here, this section right here, you have a line chart, so standard graph, which is it's defaulted to, right? Then you can pick up, uh, select this right here, this option. This is called your Japanese candlestick chart. And this is what uh, a lot of people are familiar with. <clears throat> All right. With Japanese candlesticks, you have these little individual lines. Each one of these lines represent a, a frame of time. And over here, you have minute, hour, day. So right now we're on the minute chart. So each one of these is a minute. And, and on each of these lines, these black lines, you'll see what's called a wick, all right? They're called a wick, and it's either red or green, all right? And what the wick does, it tells how much currency was traded during that period of time and how far it got up or down. If it's green, it means it went up to a certain point. Now, it may jump up all the way to the very top, which actually it did at some point. The top of that line means at one point it did jump that high. But at the end of that time frame, at the end of that one minute, it jumped back down. So um, basically, it's your, it just shows like you're balling how much money was trading that amount of time. And then the next minute, it's jumping down, then jumping down, and jumping down. And then all of a sudden, it jumps right back up. So um, you have what's called support lines, and you have what's called resistance line on the top. Resistance is large, like, a, like a ceiling. Is keeping it from going so high and support is just holding it up keeping it from going down too low 
And um, basically, what you understand a support and resistance line is just uh, how much of a particular stock um, people are willing to buy, or how much particular currency people want to buy. Um, when people are selling, it's shooting down. When people are buying, it's going up. So, the, you know, people are only going to buy so much, and then they decide to turn around and sell it. It's just a normal, you know, course of the market. Buy, sell, buy, sell all day long. So, but you can see right here, like this particular frame, a lot of people were selling for an extended period of time. <clears throat> so, anyhow, down here, you have the cost called the trader's choice. And this area gives a very, very good indication of which way the market is going to go. Um, right now, in the red, 53% of people are actively trading right now. And they are betting what the, money, the market will actually go down in the red. Only 47% are betting to go up. Right? So, it's if it's 50-50, I don't even trade. There's not enough movement in the market. Right now, it's the line is closer to the middle, but there's still a good amount of people betting it's going to go down, which it has been going down. If I go to the hour chart and we look at the last several hours, you can see that the market is slowly going down over the last day. Oh, actually, it's been going up. So, um, shoot. So, but that's something you have to keep in consideration. Is it could shoot back down. Let's go back to the minute chart. Try to stick on the minute chart. You can see in the last couple hours, it's been slowly going down. All right, and of course, more people are betting it's going to go down anyhow. Then over here, you got some tools, right? And it was called Bollinger Band, Moving Average, and RSI. You can click on each one of these. And it will analyze the market. Um, I like the RSI. RSI stands for uh, Relative Strength Index, and basically tells you if the market is overbought or oversold, meaning more people are buying, more people are selling. If it gets to a certain point where too many people have bought, then they're going to start selling. I mean, the market's going to go down. Or if people, too much people have sold, then the people will start buying again a particular currency. All right, and it tells you. Um, like it just said put analyze the market told me I needed to make a put trade which is the down direction right which actually you know it coincides with this right here trader choice saying 53% that's going to go down so that's a very very good indication that the market is actually going to go down even though if you look at it right now it's all in the green and it's going to go up but in the next 15 minutes or an hour you know, it's going to go back down. That's what we got to you know, kind of predict on the market here. And um, so I'm going to bet in the next hour. I'm going to look at the little calculator tool. I'm going to look at the moving average. Moving average just takes an average of which way the market is moving. And it's a term moving average. And you click on this real quick, and it will tell you. If it says put, then what it does, all right, so... That means that this trader choice is pretty accurate right now. And people are trading in the right direction. And you can click there and just go ahead and plus a put trade. Then you hit Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands, you're not going to really see on here, but they're different um, highs and lows in the market. And you can tell if it's going too high or going too low, which way the market's going to go. Now this one says put, meaning it's going to go down. So all three indicators... Um, to, on the tools here, have just shown me that you know, the market is going to go down. And more people right now are betting that the market will go down versus going up. So, um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually place a trade and um, see if we win some money. All right. I'll see you in the next video.